So our conception of what power is in this society, in this civilization, draws from the, the mythology of separation, of you know, exercising a force upon a mass. Uh, and I think that, and of course we can see in our social institutions how that conception of power has borne out, where we do have people dominating others through various kinds of force, military force, financial force, uh, financial force money is, you could call it a force because ultimately it comes down to denying people the ability to survive. And if anything is force, it's a gun to your head. So money can be a gun to your head. Uh, but it's not just that also, um, there's psychological force. Shame, for example, is a psychological force because it leverages survival anxiety the fear of abandonment and rejection by the mother, by the tribe. So we have a society built on the outplay of so many varieties of force that we equate with power 